Okay. Well, here it is. Well, it's not done. It's got all the plating. See? All four plates. And that took me about seven hours. But of course I was learning the whole time. The last one that I just did probably took me half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, it's amazing when you do something a couple times how quickly you learn. But one thing I learned uh, as I went by the end, uh, I figured out that you know you start with your basic piece and you lay it down and you start hitting it, but what you want to do is kind of hit it in the middle or pick a spot near the middle. That's I was starting in the middle. And you kind of just work with that ball peen hammer, that, that rounded end, and you just kind of work out in an expanding circle. And you just get bigger and bigger and it just it just kind of cups and opens up for you. And then um, as you get to where it starts to fold, you kind of pound those folds out as you go around and they flatten and straighten and, and expand and uh, like, you know, it's, it's just got, it got pretty, pretty easy, pretty quick. Um, now this is far from perfect. There are all kinds of flaws. Um, each panel is different from each other panel. Um, I wasn't able to uh, make them uniform very good. But I'm hoping that as I tighten it down and put the screws in, um, that it'll sort of come to shape and not end up too misshapen. It's not going to be, you know, perfect or anything. Um, <clears throat> so, anyway, there it is. Uh, I think what I'm going to do next, uh, you can see the inside too. Um, you see how each of them kind of goes in there and fits together. Um, I tried to leave a little space, but, um, and, and there might be, you can't really see it because they're sort of folding out, but um, uh, they're bending outward. But uh, I just put a couple screws in each one, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start on uh, one of these or the other, maybe here, and I'm just going to start tightening the screws down, one on each side. Dink, 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 dink. I'm going to drill the hole, screw it in, screw it in, and hopefully it'll pull itself into position. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to uh, bend, pound these down with the hammer using my tool here um, to try to flatten it and then I guess I, I don't know maybe sandpaper or something like that I'll practice see what sandpaper looks like uh, on some test material um, but uh, or some emery cloth or something um, and then uh, and then what I'll do is I'll take the screws out one by one and replace them with rivets um, I don't know if I can use regular rivets they just don't look cool I might have to make my own with brass, brass rod. <laughs> oh. uh, but uh, I don't know, I might end up doing a nose piece, you know, sticking down. They mostly had nose pieces. Some of them had these little eye things that come down. Um, I left holes in the bottom here. Uh, I don't necessarily have anything to do with those, but in the back, I can attach uh, chain mail through those holes, and that'll be kind of cool. Uh, I have like a little chain mail coming down, but I don't know if I have time for that. It's already the 12th or something. I only got a few days, a few weeks left, and I still have to make a shield and a scabbard for my giant sword that I found by the dumpster. So, um, yeah, here's my sword. Where is it? There it is. I found this by a dumpster. I need to make a pommel for it or a handle. Yeah, huh? Broadsword? The heck? It's like Star Wars. Like the I'll put that, you know, down my back. I'll be badass. Anyway. That's actually a long sword, I think. Not a broadsword. Okay, off the lows. So, if for some reason that's beyond you know, even my own understanding, I decided to try to sand these things. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I, I don't know why I thought maybe I could 
uh, you know, shine them up real nice. And, and, uh, and so I started on one. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's interesting. It looks kind of cool. It looks a little bit better. Kind of shiny. But, you know, it's, it's not like I'm going to sand down all those pits. Give me a break. I mean, it's probably, you know, a master craftsman would, would probably do that. But that's not what I am. And I do not have the patience for sanding. Sanding is, like, the, the thing. Uh, I hate sanding. So I don't know why. But the problem is, is I did one. So then I had to do them all. So I'm on the last one. But uh, I just, you know, if you like the way it looks, and you happen to be trying to do something like this yourself, it does look better. It doesn't look amazing. Um, you know, I started with an 80, and I went to a, uh, one, uh, three, uh, a 150, then a 220, and then a 600. And uh, there's still all kinds of, it looks, you know what, you know what it looks like? It looks like brushed nickel. Like a, like a, a fancy Art Deco sink fixture right here. So, if that's a look you like, maybe it'll 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 match your bathroom if you can put it in there as a decoration. <laughs> okay, so it's coming along. Um, I decided that what I'm going to do is start at the top and circle my way down because I think that that'll let any issues be addressed on the way down on either side it'll keep it from you know if I just did one on one side or one whole side I don't know what's gonna happen to that other side so you know cause and effect so uh, I'm working my way down I got the top done what I'm doing is I uh, you know I, I put it on my tool here this thing that I made and I pound it pound it down flat um, and then uh, drill a hole through with my drill there um, and put a screw in and tighten it down as much as I can. I mean, you know, until it's really tight to bend everything into place. And then I go to the next one. And I'm just going to go around like that. And uh, we'll see. You know, there's some of these folds in here. I mean, it, I think I can just sort of bend that metal to my will, so to speak, and bend it into shape as it goes down. I don't think I'll have to pull those out to let it elongate, um, but we're going to see as I go. If it starts to buckle and I don't think there's anything I can do about it, then I might have to elongate it and just figure out what to do with those holes later. Alright, that's it.